As a result of growing markets and increasing trade in our global economy, the need for transport is growing. The problems that follow from this are obvious. Shortage of capacity, accidents and increasing emissions are just some of them. In order to create a competitive and resource-efficient transportation system and to fulfil the environmental goals of the EU for the year 2050, we have to reduce greenhouse emissions from the transport sector by 70%. Meanwhile, freight transport inside the EU is expected to grow by 80% during this period. One way of reaching the emissions goals is to move more than half the road-based traffic to other means of transport. Where can this extra capacity be catered for? The answer is at sea. An increasing volume of traffic will also increase the risks for human beings, the environment and the economy. With increasing traffic, the need for better information systems also grows, along with tools for improved safety at sea and environmental protection. In early 2010, Sweden and the Swedish Maritime Administration initiated a Motorways of the Sea project for broader benefits, Mona Lisa. The project will result in an improved flow of processed information in order to open up the possibility to introduce a new process, sea traffic management. Sea traffic management will be analogous to air traffic management which is essential for air traffic as we know it. Today, route planning is either done individually on board with manually collected data from sources that are more or less updated or more precisely and accurately with routes planned with the assistance of various routing services. Normally, the bridge team is the only persons who have an overall view of the route of an individual ship. Other vessels in the vicinity do not know the ship's intentions or decided route plans. With the introduction of a new service, Sea Traffic Coordination Centre, which will put the captain in the centre of the process, we will be able to provide new services that will increase safety, reduce costs and improve the environment. The Coordination Centre will help captains to create tailor-made routes for each ship Considering its individual needs and the captain's requirements, the coordination center can give a ship a complete route or it can function as a complementary addition to an already existing route. Route planning is performed and updated dynamically with real-time data from necessary sources such as hydrographic surveys, maritime safety information, weather and ice conditions, port conditions and availability of pilots, MSP, Maritime Spatial Planning. The service will calculate the optimal route from the adequate data and will provide the captain with a unique and optimal route with the best track and optimal speed to arrive at the right time. In some traffic separation areas, the Coordination Centre service may also, if traffic allows, dynamically separate conflicting ships in order to save many miles, reducing costs and emissions. The same way as it is today during the winter season in the Baltic region, for example. All involved ships can exchange route information with other ships in the vicinity. This will highly increase the officer's situational awareness. The coordination centres will have the ship traffic and the routes automatically supervised, including automatic notification in the event of a deviation. The coordination centre will be notified about the deviation immediately and can take the necessary action. The system automatically provides the ships with the latest continuously updated information about their route. For instance, a change situation in the harbour maritime safety information or gale warnings. With all routes in a common server, we can also predict congestions and conflict areas in the same way as air traffic control centres do today. It will also be possible to offer ships individual monitoring and assistance from the coordination centre in confined waters, through traffic separation areas or when altering course at waypoints. Ship owners can have their fleet monitored and all routes can be validated and quality assured. 
with continuously updated information of ships' movements, voyage plans and intentions, the number of unknown vessels will be reduced, thus better enabling our Coast Guard to find risk vessels. Not only the routes can be quality assured, validated and monitored, the certificates for the bridge officers can be too. When a new officer is taking over the con on the bridge, he checks in with his personal ID smart card. This gives the traffic coordination centers control of competence, qualifications and duty status during the entire voyage. The land-based data server consists of the latest valid certificates for the officer on watch. The duty status shows the worked hours during the present duty. Ensuring that personnel are thoroughly rested is an important factor in preventative safety work. There are legal issues to be addressed before sea traffic management can go into operation. These include UNCLOS, SOLAS and the STCW Convention. However, before the end of the project, the Mona Lisa project will clarify the problems and prepare a roadmap with feasible suggestions. Acting to prevent the problems that arise as trade and sea traffic grow is an international matter and the work must be done in international cooperation for the sake of the environment, safety and the economy. Safety in particular is an important aspect where aviation has air traffic management and the railroad system has automatic train control, the shipping world does not yet have an analogous sea traffic management system. Within the EU, every year more than 500 accidents at sea are reported and the number of unrecorded cases is likely to be considerable. In aviation, such figures are quite unimaginable. Mona Lisa contributes to increased safety. For the commander, Mona Lisa provides a constantly updated route, the best route choice, increased service, improved information and assistance from land, improved decision support in close situations, warnings about dense traffic. For the ship owner, Mona Lisa provides reduced costs, improved environmental performance, quality assured and validated route performance. For the Sea Traffic Coordination Centres, Mona Lisa provides survey and coordination with real-time data, early warnings about dense traffic areas, basic data for advice, information on the competence, qualifications and duty status. It is time to move maritime into the digital age of the 21st century by utilising the potential of information technology in order to improve the general view, coordination, efficiency, safety and environmental friendliness. <laughs>